This is another one of those trees in the gardens where you almost hear it before you see it because it's covered in birds at this time of the year who've come looking for these flowers. So they look a little bit like a hibiscus and indeed this is known as the Norfolk Island hibiscus. So it's in the hibiscus family but its botanic name is Lagenaria patasonia. It comes from Norfolk Island but also from Lord Howe Island and there's a very similar species that grows on the coastal areas of Queensland. It's quite a tall tree, it'll get up to about 30 metres. It's become really popular in cultivation in part because it's so resilient to salt laden winds. So you'll often see it in coastal areas as a street tree or a park tree. There are some issues with that and it has become a weed in parts of mainland Australia. The flowers are followed by fruit that are black, and inside the fruit, there's a whole bunch of quite irritating, fine, white hairs. So one of its common names is the itch tree or the cow itch tree. And that's the, because of the potential for those white hairs to get stuck under your skin and cause a lot of irritation. It's not just birds that visit the tree. You see lots of European honeybees foraging on nectar and also on pollen this time of the year. Now, although it's a relatively common tree, it does have quite a restricted distribution. And there's a particular type of ecosystem, the swamp forests of Lord Howe Island, that the Norfolk Island hibiscus is a large component of, which is listed as critically endangered because of habitat loss, in part due to weed invasion, but also um, animals getting in there and trampling the ground. So it's a beautiful tree this time of year. After the flowering finishes and as the fruit and seeds start to mature it's worth visiting the trees again because often they're covered in cotton or hibiscus harlequin beetles beautiful iridescent blue and green beetles that lay their eggs so that larva and adults can feed on the new shoots of the tree but also the fruit and seeds. It doesn't seem to do the tree much harm but it provides a wonderful show as the flowers come to an end.